Now it's time for Live Forever. This week, me and Joe Brand went to discover the benefits of art therapy. Hello. Hi. Come in. Hi, yeah. Come in. Um, I'm Russell. This I'm year. Anne. Anne, nice to meet you. This I'm is Joe. Joe. Nice to meet you, Anne. And do you know what you're up to today and why you're here? So we're here because art is meant to be very good for us. Yes. And have you had previous art experience? I kind of checked out at sort of potato prints. <laughs> so we're going to do some exercises about drawing and about portraiture because the end game is for you to do a portrait challenge and you're going to paint each other. Oh, wonderful. Are you all right with me without my clothes on? Yeah, totally. <laughs> That's how I see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> So if you think of someone's portrait, what would you think about the shape of a head? It depends on the person, doesn't it? A little bit. Egg. And do you think one of you is more egg-like and the other one is more... Yeah, OK, egg let's get this out of the way. <laughs> egg. Yeah. All right, pumpkin. <laughs> sorry, Apple. Sorry. The world. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Well, I think I've got quite a ratish face. Got it all pointy teeth and nose. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'd rather be a pumpkin than a rat. <laughs> so let's first of all do your little egg shape. So where would you say you'd put the eyes? A little bit high. They're actually halfway down the head. If you look through your eyes, yeah, they're, they're much further down the head. Yeah, okay, so before you so could... mouth. Well, hey. That's <laughs> nice. And then the nose is halfway between the eyes and the mouth. Okay. okay. I'm going to do a snouty nose. <laughs> so what are you both doing? I like that, though. If you try and be precious and get a perfect line, yeah. it's dull. So if you just kind of have much more play and freedom. And then we can just pop the hair on top. I'm thinking Bobby Charlton. It is fun, isn't it? That's like a face that might come round the door when you're having a nightmare, <laughs> though. So how do you feel? Are you feeling good about your art? I'm enjoying it. I think that's my, my best. That's you with your nice oval-shaped face and your little <laughs> ratty nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And look, that's me with my round pumpkin <laughs> and my sad expression. <laughs> oh, no, my set died again. <laughs> we keep drawing ourselves. Now, that's, that's you. I think, you know, she's got lovely That's red hair. That's you. And I'm kind of A in... murderer. Yeah, <laughs> which is what I mean. Like, I'm really worried about the drawing. So I think you're ready to take on the portrait challenge. So I'm going to leave you for an hour to paint each other. Brilliant. OK. Were you good at art when you were a kid? Terrible. There was a kid at our school called Colin. And one... you remember Free Dress Day? I do. Where you're allowed to wear what you want. The teacher said, as you're wearing clothes you may like, take those tops off if you, you don't want to get them dirty. And Colin walked in just wearing his underpants. And it was You're really joking. Fun. Yeah, he just walked in just in his pants and sat down really earnestly and started painting. But that's all I remember about <laughs> art, was Colin in his pants. I've oh, cut myself. Oh, Christ! <laughs> I've gone full carry over there. Jesus. I think I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of interesting with art that you could just have a big blob of red and just walk away from it and say, that is art. It doesn't really exist in stand-up. Like, you couldn't stand in front of everyone and go, joke! <laughs> and then kind of stand there. I think there are some things you can do, though. You know, because people who used to say in the old days, like, swearing of itself yes. is not funny. But actually, it is. Of course it is, yeah. If you're kind of like a dainty woman, obviously I'm not in that category, but to go on and say something so filthy... Yes. ..that's hilarious. Of course, yeah. If, if you saw Judy Dench call somebody a fucking cunt, <laughs> it would just be splendid. Absolutely. Over, over something really tiny, like cheating in Trivial Pursuit, and Dench just lost it. <laughs> I think you've got really lovely eyes, so I need those to kind of leap out. Nice, kind of intelligent eyes. Oh. Whereas you're going to struggle with my eyes because they're all over the fucking shop. <laughs> Fuck. Can I just have a look at your mush? OK, that's very nice. I'll tell you what's quite nice, if you sniff the paints... <laughs> ..and then you sort of don't really worry about what you're painting. <laughs> Top three smells, what would you say? Oh, Shall uh... I give you time to think if I give you mine? Go on, then. A Sharpie pen. Yeah. Uh, freshly mown grass. And uh, a baby's head. Oh, okay. But you've got to know the baby. <laughs> you can't just do a mad dash on the tube. What would you go for? I would go for hops. Oh, okay, yeah. Sprouts. Sprouts. Yeah, I love sprouts. Really? And patchouli. What's patchouli? It's a perfume that hippies used to wear to disguise the fact they hadn't had a wash for weeks. Okay. <laughs> I'm just whacking every colour in now, because when you're clearly shit at something. It's, uh, <laughs> it's frustrating. 
What colour are your eyes, Joe? Can I have a look? Greeny? Yeah, greeny. Shit. The eyes are too dark. I mean, you can see why he chopped his ear off, can't you, at times? Do you know what I mean? That, that sense of... Fuck! I fear that I've sort of done you as John oh, Shit, Lennon. I've completely forgotten your glasses. Have you had those on all the time? Yeah. <laughs> I um, apologise for this in advance, Russell. Oh, I've tried my best, but I, I, <laughs> I think I've failed. So, guys, time's up. Before we reveal it, are you happy with the idea that what he's painted probably reveals more about himself than you? <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing what that does reveal about you, then. OK. Da -da -da. <gasps> <laughs> wow. I, li I like that. I, I think I look like a, an animal. Yeah, it? but it's sort of very liony. Y yeah, Just and actually of... I am a Leo. There you go. Well, I'm on the cusp of Leo and cancer, or as I like to put it in a joke, on the cusp of cancer and diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Remember what the artist is trying to say, is that Joe was a real lioness, and there's a lot of uh, female comedians that exist now because of that lioness with glasses, that had, that had glasses on. <laughs> so should we do the next big reveal? Yes, here we go. I mean, that's all right. It's actually good. <laughs> yeah. I think I've mucked up your mouth really badly because I wanted to make you kind of a sort of lovely, benign, smiley person. The more I added to it, the more it looked like someone had punched you in it. I kind of got this sort of Ziggy Stardust thing. I think it's brilliant. Can I have that? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Can I have that? Yeah, totally. Brilliant. If I were to look into a pond and I was shit-faced at Glastonbury, <laughs> that's what I would look like. <laughs> Like, do you know what I mean? And, and the vague beginnings of a nosebleed as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm just really struggling. There we go. Wow, you're telling me about this. I tell you about, about that. Start talking shit, you walk into one.